What's up guys, Vagabundo Van Life here, and in this week's video, we're going to take you through the steps of custom cutting our memory foam mattresses for our beds on our 2013 Ford Transit Connect. We'll temporarily fit our sheets and custom cut a goose down comforter down to size, stitching on both sides. We'll also cut our memory foam to make some custom size pillows and covers for both sides of our beds. So stick around for the full video. Okay, so in this week's video, we're going to be spending some time custom cutting our memory foam mattresses down to size, making our beds for both our right and left sides out of this four inch dual memory foam mattress topper. So we found a, a four inch mattress topper that had a cooling gel on top, along with standard memory foam on the bottom and found that to be the perfect size for this uh, rear of the 2013 Ford Transit Connect. We purchased a queen size. Uh, which allowed us to save some cost by able to cut that down to size. Uh, if you're in a larger van, I would recommend a six inch memory foam mattress, uh, but be mindful that it is gonna be a little bit spongier and you'll sink into that a little bit. So if you don't mind, uh, the four inch is very comfortable, uh, extremely easy to sleep on. Uh, one of the first steps you need to do is let it rest. Uh, so after it's rested, we take it to our cutting saw. This is a commercial size cutting saw to cut down memory foam. A lot of times on YouTube, you'll see people using bread cutters, which is fine. Uh, it doesn't give you as nice as a finished cut as this commercial saw, but obviously it's not practical to buy this saw just to cut down one bed. Uh, we do you know, custom cutting of foam for uh, interiors of seats, uh, beds like that we make here or any kind of uh, surfaces. So uh, for us, it makes sense. Uh, so you'll see that we mark the bottom side of the memory foam uh, to the correct dimensions of our bed. Uh, so the right side is about a twin size. So pencil marking on the bottom side, cutting all of the memory foam down with this uh, extremely sharp saw. So you'll see all of the edges nice and smooth. That cooling gel is going to uh, be the top portion and the standard memory foam on the bottom. And just running down the length of the entire section of memory foam. So this saw actually has a guide on the bottom that'll let us uh, stay tight to the material and maintain a very straight line. Again, if you're using a bread cutter, just be very mindful and careful that you stick to your cutting lines uh, because once you cut this memory foam, obviously you can't return it. Uh, so, so just be real careful and mindful when you're cutting it down. And once that memory foam is cut down to size, we're going to place it in the interior of the vehicle. And what you can see Victor here doing is using a sharp metal cutting tool. He's just cutting around the door mechanism so that that memory foam sits nice and flush, as you can see here against the front lip that we left on our storage cabinet, along with sitting flush to the doors and wall panels and a small cutout in the top left portion for the bulkhead. And we will start cutting the memory foam for the top left section now. So we have an additional bed uh, that's going to be going over our multi-use storage area on the top left side. So that storage area is holding a Rad Mini e-bike and has an additional flip up four inch uh, multi-use storage area that we covered in another video. So if you wanna check that video, you can just click a link in the top right corner. Uh, so this memory foam is gonna be cut down to size using the same machine, going down all of our lines, getting a nice finished edge on both sides and giving us an additional bed uh, over that top left portion, as you'll see here. And once we have both beds in place, we're going to temporarily fit our sheets over both uh, sides. So we just use some cheap Walmart sheets for now, test fitting the colors. Uh, but one of the first steps we always do is installing this four in one mattress protector. Uh, that's a hotel grade mattress protector that we put over every bed. Uh, so anytime you're dealing with memory foam, you wanna keep the wetness and dirt away from that memory foam because they, they can get ruined very quickly. Uh, so always using that four in one mattress protector. And then one of the principles we like to stick to and um, recommend is always using a darker colored sheet on the bottom and then a lighter colored sheet to match the ceiling on top. So our fitted sheet is a darker material and then our flat sheet is matched to the uh, ceiling of the vehicle. But it's your choice. Obviously, in anyone's case, you can choose any colors you want. We're going to be using some splash of colors for our pillows and our duvet covers for our uh, goose down comforter. So that's where we're going to get some of our color. And then this bed that we created on the top left side, like we mentioned, it is tight to the ceiling. So you'll see here, it's about 19 inches from the ceiling. 
Uh, we've put a 200 pound plus male on that, on that top bed. It is tight to the ceiling. You know, obviously it's not something that if you're claustrophobic, you're gonna wanna be up there, uh, but you comfortably sleep up there. A 200 pound male was up there for an extended trip. And that just gives us two separate sleeping surfaces. And if let's say you didn't wanna have the bed up there, it's cut and uh, separated in two sections. We just fold it down and lean it against the backside of the van. And it gives you like a little couch set up on the bottom and you can flip open that storage cabinet up top and cook in the interior of the van if you wanted. Uh, but for us, when we take it to car shows, we're gonna leave the uh, bed on the top side. And if we're taking it on trips, generally, we don't take the bed on the top side unless someone plans to sleep up there. Uh, but we found it to be very easy to use, very comfortable. And you just slide that bed down when you don't want to use it and lay it against the side. Uh, so we're going to take the next steps of custom cutting down our goose down comforter. So in this case, we bought a king size goose down comforter uh, to cover both sides. And we tested that out in the field in sub-zero temperature just to see what kind of uh, warmth that's going to give us. So a high fill power goose down comforter can be quite pricey. Uh, you're talking anywhere between $250 you know, all the way as high as five, $600. So uh, we're gonna be cutting down ours to size. Uh, and the reason for that, we chose to use a king size version is because it allowed us to have two separate comforters instead of buying, you know, like two twins, which would have been much more expensive. We carefully will cut down one uh, to size. So the first step that we need to do when cutting down this goose down comforter is running a stitch along one of the channels of the actual uh, pockets of the goose down comforter. So if you take a look at a comforter when it's made or when you buy it from the store, you'll see the stitching going down, you know, individual rows of the actual uh, material. And what that does is just separates each section into kind of like channels or pockets. Uh, so if we're going to be cutting it, we need to do another layer of stitching down the entire length of the uh, comforter. In this case, running it down the, the first side uh, so that we can cut it. And we're gonna run a double stitch just to give us a nice seal. Uh, so with goose down, you don't want that material inside shifting around a lot. Uh, so we need to make sure this is nice and tight. So you'll see here after completing the first row of stitching, uh, again, running it through a second time. And with a big, large, bulky piece of material like this, uh, we definitely needed two people to run the material through the machine. And in this case, using a you know commercial grade sewing machine, you can see the uh, stitching here uh, turning dark gray now. And we just chose that color in this case, uh, finishing off the inside of that pocket. Uh, so what's real nice with doing custom materials or custom, you know, uh, stitching like this is it's always the customer's choice. So when we're doing interior vehicles or, or custom cars, the customers will come to uh, Victor with a choice of colors. And let's say you want to do a red interior and they say, OK, but I want white stitching and I want it double stitched or I want it pillow stitched. It, there, there's so many options. It's all left to, you know, your creativity or you can do, let's say, a white interior with red stitching. It, it, it's it's endless. So, um, you know, we do a large questionnaire anytime a, a van build or a interior gets put into the uh, shop and just kind of going over all the options that you want to choose. Uh, so right now here, after that double stitch, he's able to go back and cut along the entire length of that uh, comforter all by hand. So using that large scissor to cut down the length of the comforter, you'll see some goose down that's coming out from the left side because now that left side is open, right? So the right side is completely sealed off and double stitched. That left side is, is slightly open, uh, just allowing a little bit of that goose down to come out. And we're actually going to run that section also back through the uh, sewing machine just to give us another uh, comforter for the other side. So that's how we were able to get two comforters out of this one piece of material. Uh, but you can see here, you, know, you see the uh, scissor just carefully being run up the entire length of the way. And then we're just going to take that section, uh, fold it over. So taking the side of the uh, goose down comforter, folding it over and running a length of stitching down the entire side. So closing off that section as well. So if you look closely, you'll see the actual fold of the material uh, right about here. You'll see how he folds it over and he's going to run a double line of stitching down the entire length again. Uh, just closing off that pocket. So just carefully taking your time whenever you're working with this material. You know, this is obviously a very expensive comforter. Uh, that's gonna get a custom colored uh, duvet cover. I think we're gonna be using an aqua color uh, for the inside of this van once it's complete. Uh, but really right now, we're just gonna be running everything through kind of like a shakedown run. So at this point in the build, we're going to take our memory foam and custom cut four pillows for our beds. 
uh, two sides so that they fit perfectly from side to side. And this is where we're going to be getting some of our color for the inside of the vehicle by making some custom cut uh, pillow covers out of this light blue and gray material. And we're gonna test fit these and run these through a few times so we get an idea. Uh, here's just a closer look at that commercial saw that we use to cut down the memory foam. And like we said, it obviously doesn't make sense for you guys to buy this or use it for one uh, mattress, but this is what the tool we have to use when cutting down uh, all these you know, memory foam pieces. So once we get those all cut, we'll get them on the inside of the vehicle. Just test fitting everything now. You can see our kitchen and sinks on the right and left side. Uh, the goose down comforter covering the right side and left. Our memory foam pillows and covers uh, custom cut and fit. We're going to do some shakedown runs, like I said, taking this out in the field, you know, seeing how we like the fit and design, and then we'll bring everything back in and make some custom cut covers out of bamboo sheets and bamboo pillow covers. But that's it for this week's video, guys. We thank you so much for watching. We hope you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, hit the notification bell for videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.